A football field chart is a really nice and it's it's a neat way to show a range of valuations for a company you're trying to value or an investment opportunity you're trying to come up with a, an estimated value for. Um, the, uh, uh, the while a football chart is really or a football field chart is pretty neat, it's also kind of complicated to make. Um, and so this video is just to get you started in creating a very, very basic football field chart. So the basis of the, the football field chart is to graphically depict a, a, a variety of evaluation techniques or valuation estimates. So um, in, in this example, I've created a, a super, super simple uh, setup in which I have three different valuation um, metrics. Uh, so I'm using a multiples-based approach to, uh, to value a company. Um, so I've got PE ratio, price to sales, and price to book. Now I have a min, median, and max estimate, and this is all based on a sensitivity analysis that happens behind the scene. Um, uh, in particular for the PE ratio, I had a long list of comparables and then I selected subsets of those comparables based off of um, uh, how close I thought those comparables were to um, come up with a variety of estimates of value using the PE ratio. Then I took the min, median, and max. Now, in reality, you're going to do more multiples than this. You're going to maybe use like a free cash flow model with different assumptions um, going into it. You're going to um, do some more sophisticated sensitivity analysis. You're probably also going to look at like the 25th percentile of your estimates and your 75th percentile of your estimates. But this video is just to get you started with making the, the plot. So to, to get started, I'm actually going to show you the wrong way to make the plot, or more specifically, um, a, a common error in making this plot. So the type of plot we're going to use is a stacked bar chart. And once we have that inserted, we're going to select the data. Now, oftentimes people will just highlight this. And then you, you can see in the background that uh, we've got this one, two, three, and then we'll switch the columns and rows, and we'll have something that sort of looks like a bar chart, uh, or sorry, um, a football field chart. Now, something weird is going on here. Um, if we look at PE ratio, our valuation range is 100, 110, and 140. But if you look at the bars, it goes from zero to 100, uh, to two, I don't know, 210 to 350. Not quite right. And so to show you what's going on, um, actually, let's get a x-axis. To show you what's going on, in the background, what Excel is doing is it's actually adding up 100 plus 110 plus 140 to get each one of those points. So when you add up 110, or sorry, 100, 110, and 140, you get 350, which is, which is the overall length of this bar. That is not what we want. Um, so how do we make this chart correctly? So to do that, we actually have to make another set, uh, another data table. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this right below it, okay? And we actually don't need that data. What we're going to do for these cells is we are gonna take this cell, so the median on this particular measure, and we're gonna subtract off the, the one right before it. So now this is the difference between the, the median PE ratio estimate of value and the minimum. We're going to do that the same thing. Oops, that's not what I wanted. So we're going to do that with 140 minus 110. So the gap between 140 and 110 is 30, and that's what we're going to have in that cell. So we copy this down. So this is just showing you the difference between the maximum valuation and the minimum, or the median valuation. That's what this 10 is. Okay. Now, let's insert this chart. This is, once again, a stacked bar chart. 
we select the data. This looks a little bit funny at this point. So let's switch the rows and columns. Now we've got something that is almost on its way to being appropriate. So with the football field chart, we don't really care about the zero to, I don't know, 120. That's not uh, particularly important to us. So we're going to um, hide this and um, There we go, format data series. We don't want to fill that in. Okay, now let's expand the x-axis because we really just don't want all this empty space. Let's just start at, um, I don't know, let's say 80 and go all the way up to 160. All right, now it's starting to look like a, a proper football field chart. It's not formatted um, particularly well. There would be a lot of formatting. You would probably want to reorder the uh, this data table because if you look at it now, it starts off with price to book, then price to sales, then PE ratio, and we'd want to flip that. Um, that's not terribly difficult. You're just reordering the these uh, these rows. Um, uh, but what's nice here is let's just take PE example. So in our, our original data, the maximum estimate was 140. And now here, the maximum is 140. The minimum is 100. And the minimum for the PE ratio up here is 100. So the trick is to create this new data table with the data for the football field chart that has the base number here, which is your minimum, or like if you were working with quartiles, uh, that 25th percentile, and then having new columns with the difference between that um, median estimate and the estimate of value that's immediately preceding it.